Hello everyone, we are now at Sydney Cruise Port in Canada. It is located in northeastern Nova Scotia on Cape Breton Island. Here is an overview of the cruise terminal from our ship. The terminal is located very near where our ship is docked and it can only handle one large ship. Additional ships must anchor in the harbor and passengers are tendered to port. You can also find shops and restaurants inside the terminal. Next to the cruise terminal building is the world's largest fiddle. The big fiddle stands at 17 meters tall, which is around 60 feet and is made with painted solid steel. It was designed and constructed in 2005 by Cyril Hearn, a Sydney artist and welder. This spectacular artwork was built over an eight month period. For a number of Canada and New England cruises, Sydney is the gateway to Nova Scotia's history. Stunning coasts and charming culture. As we disembarked from our ship, a short walking distance takes us to the cruise terminal building. Along the way, we see a number of vendors selling their merchandise. This big fiddle is a tribute to the folk music and traditions of the province's Celtic community. Fiddling has a continuous history in Canada dating back to the 17th century and remains an important instrumental folk tradition. It was the principal medium of social dance music in rural Canada until around the middle of the 20th century. Fiddle music was first brought to Cape Breton by Scottish immigrants. Today's music also features Acadian, Irish and Mi'kmaq influences. Fiddle music still flourishes all over Cape Breton Island. This beautiful fiddle is one large piece of artwork for visitors to enjoy. I guess this is one of the most photographed spots when you are in Sydney Cruise Port. An essential photo op for every visitor. We are now entering Joan Harris Cruise Pavilion. You can do your shopping in the Cruise Pavilion or have a nice meal in the restaurants upstairs. Toilet facilities are available inside the terminal. Visitors can also make use of their free Wi-Fi service. The internet connection is pretty good. There are also booths selling different types of excursions. When in Cape Breton, tourists can opt to do a variety of excursions. Some of the popular tours include the Best of Cape Breton Island Tour, Cabot Trail Discovery, and Visit the Highland Village, among other options. There is a large hall over here where vendors sell a wide range of souvenirs such as clothing, jewelry, artwork, and many more.
Outside the terminal, you will also see private operators selling tours. The prices they offer are pretty good if you can organize a group of six to eight people for a small group tour. The Sydney Harbour Boardwalk is just five minutes walk to the right from where the ship is docked. It is a pleasant and picturesque walk along the waterfront. This boardwalk is also one of the routes to get to town. There is a large sculpture on the waterfront located just minutes away from the start of the boardwalk. It is the Sydney Merchant Mariners Memorial. This sculpture was built to recognize the heroic wartime contributions of the Merchant Navy. It is a monument dedicated to the memory of the brave contingent of civilians who served on the high seas during two world wars. These sailors risked their lives every time they boarded a supply ship and headed across the submarine infested waters of the Atlantic. Their ships were routinely sunk by their enemy's submarines. Hope you have enjoyed our short tour of Sydney Cruise Port. Thank you for watching.